This is the Parisian neighborhood where Gérard Fèvre has wished to settle in and create his new masterpiece for quite some time. Finally, the Seine has opened its arms and the Eiffel Tower has granted his wishes with this apartment that reflects his concept of the ready-to-live-in space. I can say that the situation is idyllic. The advantage of this space is that it has finally allowed me to have a view of the Eiffel Tower and the Seine. What interested me also was this building that was built in the 30s, and to date I haven't done any apartments in this style. I was really excited because the architecture talks to me. Different from the Haussmann style that the designer is used to playing with for many of his other works, this apartment of over 300 square meters offers new inspiration and opportunities not yet explored by Gérard Fèvre. The style of this apartment, of course, has to be in harmony with the style of the building. I took the image of luminous columns that were found in many beautiful mansions of the time. After, for the furniture, we also amplified this feeling of the 30s with reissues of Jean-Michel Franck, one of the leading design decorators of that time. We also have many antique appliques as well. This main hall is majestic because of the contrasting black and white marble that was used. The idea of the mosaic bar and this large photo we have in the main hall adds to the image of the 30s. Of the three bedrooms with bathroom and private dressing room, the rotunda-style master bedroom is over 60 square meters. The designer remains true to his ideas with some authentic touches here and there before taking us into an all-white universe where the bathtub proudly reigns. A 30s atmosphere in which Gérard Fèvre has chosen to associate interior high-tech technology, a state-of-the-art sound system and home automation. With these large volumes and the high ceilings, everything was quickly set up. I found it interesting to create a reception apartment, hence this main entrance. The large adjoining rooms that include the dining room, lounge and music space. We knocked down walls to make a real reception apartment. I put the bar in the entrance because I imagined that we could receive anywhere from 20 to 50 people, or even more. The main entrance normally only serves as an entry, and I thought we could better use the space. Hence the idea of the bar in the large entrance, amplified by the mirrors. It's a space that's really used for entertaining. The idea to have the mirrors facing each other gives us a feeling of infinity. Infinite sensations and sweet sensations when your hand touches these updated lampshades. I have a friend that works with feathers and we had the idea together to make simple lampshades and she adorned them with feathers, and I found that they were very beautiful. Luck had it that I have ostriches and light fixtures, so we can say that these feathers are in tune with the times, like in a music hall, where they were always extremely present.
Other quick tributes you may have noticed are these rugs with geometric patterns and these drawings, inspired by the achievements of Sonia Delaunay and Eline Gray. Thought out and imagined in every detail and researched left and right, all these objects and all these ideas have found their place thanks to the talent of the decorator Gérard Fèvre, who now offers a unique, ready-to-live-in apartment where the future owner only has to settle down and enjoy time at the old fireplace with the Eiffel Tower as the décor. And as we subtly understood with these Annie Samuelson sculptures, the plaster eggs close to the mirrors, this project is now finished, but others are already beginning to bloom. Mm -hmm.